Hello. At the beginning of every new season, I always see a player on the pitch and think, when the hell did he move? Where did he come from? I'm thinking Fabio Silva, Vladimir Soufal, or even Rafinha of Leeds. We always hear about the Canates to Liverpool, the Upamecanos to Bayern Munich, and the Agueros to Barcelona. But by focusing on those, what do we miss? Well, every week or so, I'm going to attempt to answer that question for you and take a look at some of the players on the outside. The Premier League! Now, we know about Canate and Buendia, but a lot of business has been done actually by the Premier League newcomers. Milo Trashitsa has joined Norwich from Werder Bremen for 9.9 .9 million. This came after he had quite a weak campaign last year as Werder Bremen were relegated. However, in the Bundesliga season prior, Trashitsa contributed 8 goals and 5 assists and was the league's 15th most productive dribbler. He is hoping the 25 year old can replace Buendia at Norwich. Meanwhile, fellow promoted club Watford have brought in a couple of players. First, let's have a look at Emmanuel Dennis, brought in for £3.6 million from Club Bruges. He was playing in Belgium at the beginning of the 2021 season, before he was axed from the team after throwing a hissy fit on the way to their Champions League game against Dortmund for, um, reportedly not being allowed to sit where he wanted to on the team bus. Moving on. Now let's look at Emran Luzer, brought in from Nantes for £9 million. Nantes had a really bad season last year, having manager after manager, and they just avoided relegation from Ligue 1 just through the French playoffs. At 22 years old, Luzer made 33 appearances, scoring 7, assisting 2, and making 2.7 tackles in his deceptions, all from midfield. He did score 5 penalties, but it's an interesting move to say the least. The last move to touch on is uh, Fabian Balbuena being released from West Ham, Danny Rose moving from Tottenham to Watford on a free, and uh, Wolves signing a 20-year-old defender from Colombia called uh, Yerson Mosquera. Serie A. Let's start with some quick ones as Musa Barrow has permanently joined Bologna from Atalanta. This came after the 22-year-old scored 8 and assisted 8 on loan at Bologna in around 30 appearances. 20-year-old American right-back Brian Reynolds has also made a loan permanent, this time to Roma for £6.7 million. Last year he was playing for FC Dallas in the MLS. Finally, in a move you've already heard of, Nico Gonzalez has moved from Stuttgart to Fiorentina for £23 million, which, by the way, is massively overpriced. He boasts a 12% goal conversion, and the striker only scored six goals for Stuttgart last season in the Bundesliga, so this really doesn't make any sense for me. La Liga. In Spain, Rodrigo de Paul has been prized away from Udinese to Atletico Madrid, which could see Coque leave the club. There has also been an ocean of activity in Barcelona, seeing Depay, Garcia and Aguero all come in on free transfers. But the one I want to focus on is Emerson Royale. He's a Brazilian right back who was playing at Real Batiste with a buyback clause inserted into his contract. Emerson made 24 appearances last season, getting into the team of the week twice and assisting four times from right back. Just two other fullbacks in La Liga made more tackles per game than the 22-year-old, and his aerial win rate of 60% towers over someone like Trelik Alexander-Arnold, which stands at about 22%, and even Rhys James. Smart business by Barcelona? Who would have thought it? Bundesliga. First of all, aside from transferring Deo Opamecano in, Bayern Munich have brought Omar Richards in from Reading. The 23-year-old won 60% of his ground duels in the championship last season, so this represents a big step up and a massive opportunity for him. Bayern have also let go Jerome Boateng, seeing him leave the club he joined in 2011. But let's go to RB Leipzig next, because... Wow! You may have heard of Josko Guardiol and uh, Mohamed Simakan joining the club, but let's, let's focus on three other transfers that I'm, I'm really impressed by. First of all, Angelino has made his loan to Leipzig permanent for Manchester City for £18 million. Now this is awful business by Manchester City. Angelino was Leipzig's player of the season last year, scoring four and assisting four from the wing, and in fact, only three other wingers, fullbacks, wingbacks, whatever you want to call them, made more crosses per game than Angelino. Leipzig have also brought in Brian Broby on a free transfer from Ajax, and this is disgusting business. He may have only started one time in the Eredivisie last season, but you can ask the guys at Football Orangi, his impact on the club was incredible. The 19-year-old has a physique on par with Erling Haaland, and last season in the Europa League from six games, he scored three and assisted one, so Julian Nagelsmann will be licking his lips over Brobby. 
Now let's go to Borussia Dortmund. They have brought in a goalkeeper who can actually save in Gregor Kobol from Stuttgart. He only conceded three goals from outside of the box last season in 33 appearances. Another interesting move is Sumnalia Koulibaly, brought in from PSG's youth ranks on a free transfer. The 17-year-old centre-back is currently suffering from a cruciate ligament rupture. However, this is definitely one to watch as Dortmund rarely get these young transfers wrong. Now let's go to Wolfsburg next as Asta Vranch has moved in from KV Mahelen uh, to to the Wolves. That's their name, right? The Wolves? Yeah, the, the Wolves. Wolfsburg. Anyway, this is the guy with five-star weak foot on FIFA who always blows up in career mode. So that means it's a great move, right? He turns 19 in October and his side finished eighth last season. So definitely one to watch. Elsewhere, Stuttgart have quickly started using their money, bringing in Fabio Blanco from Valencia and Florian Müller from uh, FC Mainz. They also signed 19-year-old striker Alu Kuel. Cool? We'll call him Cool. He's a Sudan striker who grew up in Australia, and last season, in his first season with Central Coast Mariners, he scored seven goals. This could be one of those rogue transfers that really explodes. Swat Serdas also moved from relegated Schalke to Hertha Berlin. League Earn. Longtime Ren defender Damien Da Silva has moved to Lyon on a free transfer, and joining him on a free is Enrique from Vasta Gagama, a left back on his first venture outside of Brazil. Marseille are the definite highlights in League Earn, though. Maxime Lopez, Hikoli Kai, Florian Tolvan and Valerie Germain have all left the club and the huge arrival is Gerson for £22.5 million. He's arrived from Flamengo, which of course would raise some eyebrows, but Gerson actually has some European pedigree. He left Serie A in 2019 after spells with Roma and Fiorentina, netting some decent returns and a lot of appearances. And since he moved to Flamengo, he's become a fan favourite, and now he's left, the fans appear completely devastated and they don't know how they're going to replace him. So let's see what he can do at Marseille, because this is a really expensive move for the club and I'm really interested to see how it goes. Also, Albon Lafont has officially made his move permanent from Fiorentina to Nantes as they've just stayed up and remember Lafont was once tipped to be the next player like Gianluigi Donnarumma so this could be an interesting move for him as he's still quite young. The rest of Europe Let's start in Portugal because Benfica have sold uh, Pedrinho, the Brazilian winger, to Shakhtar Donetsk after quite a disappointing season in Portugal. Meanwhile, FC Porto have brought in their own Brazilian winger, Pepe, a 24-year-old uh, from Grêmio, brought in for £15 million, so this could be another transfer to keep an eye on. In the Netherlands, Ajax have brought in 21-year-old goalkeeper Jay Gorta from Go Ahead Eagles as Andre Onana continues to be linked with a move away. PSV have made two signings. First of all, Marco van Ginkel saving him from Chelsea and uh, Joel Drommel from uh, FC Twente and he's been quite an impressive goalkeeper so keep an eye out for him. In Belgium, Noah Lang has joined Club Bruges from Ajax after an electric season on loan in Bruges saw him score 14 goals and assist 8 times. What was your favourite move guys and is there any leagues you want me to give a closer eye on next time? Let me know.